What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to this special video here on Anfield Agenda. Rather than talk about this summer's transfer window all over again, what we thought we'd do is spice it up a little bit. We're going to bring you five transfers that almost happened for Liverpool Football Club but didn't quite get over the line. As always though, we want to know your thoughts on these potential deals. Let us know, would history have been different if Liverpool had have signed these players or would we still have had the same situation that we did? Waiting for Jurgen to come along and for history to write itself. Let us know your thoughts, drop a like on the video if you enjoy it and of course don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The first one we're going to talk about is potentially one of the biggest deals that Liverpool have ever missed out on. I'm going to take you back to 2003. Phil Thompson was invited over to Portugal to have a look at a certain youngster training. Who do you think I might be speaking about? It is, of course, Cristiano Ronaldo. And would you believe that back in 2003, Liverpool could have signed Ronaldo for a very, very minuscule £4 million. Pound. I'm not joking, £4 million is all it would have cost. Now, the sticking point, well, that came when his agent wanted £1 million tax-free for Ronaldo as a signing-on bonus. It sounds cheap now, doesn't it? But back then, Phil Thompson and Liverpool just couldn't get the owners to pony up the money and Cristiano Ronaldo, as we know, went on to sign for Manchester United. In fact, we've got a quote from Phil Thompson around that time speaking about how quickly things changed. He said, 10 days later, I was sitting in a lounge at Anfield having some lunch and watching the TV. Up came the news that Manchester United had signed Cristiano Ronaldo for £12.2 million. Remember, we could have had him just a little while before for just £4 million. Isn't it funny how football works? Sometimes you get these deals over the line, sometimes you don't, but we're all allowed to dream, right? So that's number one, Cristiano Ronaldo. But don't worry, there's plenty more to come. The second player that I have for you that almost signed for Liverpool Football Club is Danny Alves. Would you believe at just 23 years of age, Liverpool had a deal in place to bring Danny Alves from Sevilla over to Anfield. But manager Rafael Benitez thought that the £8 million valuation that Sevilla had put on Danny Alves was too much and Liverpool pulled out of the deal. What happened next? Well, that's history. He, of course, signed a new deal with Sevilla and eventually in 2008 made his way to Barcelona where he was part of that all-conquering Barcelona side. Look, you guys know what the situation is with him right now and if you don't, I'll let you research that in your own time. But you can't help wonder what might have been. Imagine Dani Alves tearing down the flanks at Anfield and again, just eight million pound granted when you look back these deals do seem a little bit cheaper than they are these days but eight million pound for Danny Alves and Rafa said no Rafa what have you done mate what a manager he was of course delivered us a European Cup but no Danny Alves for eight million quid I don't understand Rafa how did you think that he was overvalued there let us know your thoughts in the comment section did Rafa shit the bed I think that he did but we want to know your thoughts so who's the third signing that Liverpool didn't quite get over the line? Well, this is one that I think a lot of you guys have probably heard the story of. But back in 2015, we were this close. In fact, I believe it got down to the contract signing. That was how far this went. Who am I talking about? Mr. Deli Ali. Liverpool were looking to bring him in. He was supposed to be the new Steven Gerrard. And why did we pull out? Well, because we didn't want to break our wage structure for under 21 players at the club. At the time, £4,000 a week was the maximum that Liverpool were willing to pay players under the age of 21. And they didn't want to give that much money to Danny Alves. Now, there's some different tales about how this deal broke down. And that is ultimately for the future, for folklore and for you guys to try and figure it out for yourself. But what we do know is after the deal broke down that would have taken him from MK Dons to Liverpool, he very quickly went and signed for Tottenham Hotspur where he went on to have a great breakthrough, a couple of campaigns. He is trying to rebuild his career right now and obviously we wish him all the best when he talked about what he'd been through as a child and that it really did, uh, it really did put into perspective how important a good upbringing is, how important football is and how important good mental health is of course. It's great to see Deli Ali back doing what he loves which is playing football but imagine he had have gone to Liverpool at that time. Could his career have been a little bit different? Would he have had the same breakthrough that he had at Spurs? I guess we'll never know. 
Now it's time for number four on our list of transfers that didn't quite happen for Liverpool Football Club. And this one, well, I think you'll have heard of this young fella as well. Back in 2017, Liverpool were looking really, really hard at trying to sign a certain young Frenchman, Mr. Kylian Mbappe. We know what the story says. John W. Henry flew him and his representatives around France trying to convince him that a move to Liverpool was the right move after he left Monaco. We know it didn't quite happen. We know that he went on to play for PSG and he's since moved to Real Madrid where we will probably see him lift a lot of silverware. But what could have been? Liverpool did really try hard to get this deal done. He wasn't an unknown quantity. Everybody knew about Mbappe at this point. Arsenal were trying to sign him. Liverpool were trying to sign him. But Paris Saint-Germain put the money down on the table, paid the record transfer fee at the time and of course the rest, as they say, is history. Would he have worked at Anfield? Yes, of course he would have. It's Kylian Mbappe. He's a wonderful footballer. But it is uh, it is a question that's open to see will he kick on at Real Madrid. 25 years of age now as he made that deal. But Liverpool 2017, this close. Or maybe we're a little bit further away. But you can't help but dream, right? Imagine, we had a chance to sign Ronaldo, as we mentioned earlier on. Now we're talking about the opportunity to sign Kylian Mbappe. John, where's the money? We wouldn't have had to say that, John. We wouldn't have had to have those conversations if Kylian Mbappe or Ronaldo was brought in. Well, I can't really blame him for Ronaldo, can I? That was before his time. But Mbappe, you spent all that fuel, John. You brought him around in the private jet and you couldn't close the deal. Tut, tut, John. Tut, tut. Maybe, maybe this summer? Maybe? Probably not, right? Anyway, one more to go. So who's the last name? So the last player on their list of five transfers that didn't quite happen for Liverpool Football Club is probably the one that I wish happened the most. Many of you guys will of course look at Cristiano Ronaldo or Kylian Mbappe, but this player for me is one that I've had the height of respect for throughout his entire career, even with where he eventually ended up. I am speaking about David Silva. What a player he was and what a player he would have been for Liverpool Football Club. In 2009, in 2009, when Liverpool were tasked with finding a replacement for Xavi Alonso, Liverpool could have had David Silva for £30 million from Valencia. We didn't pay the fee. Manchester City did. Who did Liverpool sign? Well, we went in and we signed Aquilani. Do you remember him? The little prince from Roma, Alberto Aquilani, who was injured when we signed him and pretty much stayed that way most of the time that he was at Liverpool Football Club. He played just 28 times for the Reds before moving on and I can't help but think what could have been if Liverpool had have signed David Silva. He won four Premier League titles with Manchester City, probably wouldn't have won as many with Liverpool, but I would have loved watching him. He's one of my favourite football players of all time. His ability to find space between the line and make things happen was truly exceptional. And he is the standard bearer for the likes of Phil Foden, for the likes of Harvey Elliott and those other young English players coming through. They watch this guy. They watch them operate at a very high level for club and country. And this one annoys me the most. Of all the deals, this one we really should have gotten done. David Silva was a generational talent. Manchester City fans got to see him in their blue shirt, winning titles, and I would have given anything to see him play for Liverpool Football Club. Now, I've got to say, I know we're talking about only five here, but I want to throw in a six, just a personal favourite. Well, we're talking about players that nearly signed. I want to give you just one player that I wish had have played for Liverpool. Little bit off the wall here, but I wish that we had have seen Thierry Henry in a Liverpool shirt. I've often spoken about this. As an Irishman, well, I've got very strong feelings about Thierry Henry and his handballing, but I would have loved him at Liverpool. I think he is the archetypal Liverpool type forward. He would have been amazing. He's my dream signing. Him and David Silva are the two players that I've always wished that Liverpool had signed, but only one of them, David Silva, was a potential for us. Obviously, Thierry Henry had a great career at Arsenal, but for me, he's a player that I would have loved to have seen in red. So... I want to know your thoughts now, my friends. Let me know on those five players that Liverpool quite couldn't get over the line. Which one of them would you have liked? Are they all realistic? And who would be your dream signing from the past to come into Liverpool? Even if it is like me playing fantasy football and wishing it was Thierry Henry. Really looking forward to reading your comments. Don't forget to drop a like on the video as well. We do appreciate your support here on the channel. As you're watching this, it will be my day off, hence this video. But we will be back with live content soon. Again, don't forget to check out the Anfield Agenda Clips channel. You can use the link in the description or you can click the QR 
QR code on the bottom corner of your screen. Give that a scan with your phone and that will bring you straight there. It's closing in on 30,000 subscribers and we really appreciate your support. I like making these videos and any suggestions that you guys have for fun topical videos like this when transfer stories are a little bit slow. Feel free to let me know in the comment section and I will do my utmost to get to them as soon as I can. All that remains for me to say is thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments and have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.